So today we shall discuss about optical instruments, which is very confusing and also easy if you follow certain logic and certain path here. Certain easy methods are there to understand what is the concept of simple microscope, compound microscope and also telescope here. So for that, so first of all we shall discuss about what is the meaning of simple microscope. How does this simple microscope works here? Simple microscope is nothing but it is also called as a reading lens. It is just a reading lens, one convex lens, that's it, okay? How it will be a lens attached to one handle so that we can hold it and see the small objects, okay? So that is called as a simple microscope, it is a reading lens. It is used by forensic laboratories, it is used by CAD officers, it is used by scientists for doing any research, or fingerprints, when any murder has been done here. For all these purposes, a single convex lens is also called as simple microscope. This is said to be the principal axis. The line passing through the optic center, uh, this is going to be called as an optic center here. This is O, which is called as optic center. Now, this is said to be a principal axis here. Okay. So, as this is going to be our principal axis, now here, this is said to be principal of focus on either sides. Here also, principal of focus is there. Here, this is center of curvature. Here also there is a center of curvature. Point or principle of focus. Center of curvature is sacred because from here you draw an arc here. And this is center of curvature from which you are drawing the arc of the side. So forming a convex lens. So what is going to happen? Let us see here. Now here, a parallel beam of light ray which is passing through the lens and parallel to the principal axis. Definitely it has to pass through the focal point. It has to pass through the focal point. And another light ray which is passing through the optic center here. Okay. Which is passing through the optic center. Okay. So these lines are going to be here and you are going to see an image at this place. You are going to see an image at this place. This is going to be the construction of the simple microscope. So you are going to consider an object which is between principle of focus and optic center. Okay. This is principle of focus and optic center. Okay. And uh, you are getting an image at this place. This is certainly an image here. Okay. So object when it is placed between principle of focus and optic center on the same side of an object and that too this is said to be the virtual image. It is said to be the virtual image. Now you have to find out what is the meaning of a magnification in this case, okay? How to find out the magnification in this case? So I am shifting an object at this place so that I can compare the angles. So what I am going to do, I compare the angles here. So from here, this is going to be the line. Now just see here. Our object makes angle alpha and image makes angle beta. This is a small angle which is made by the object here. This object which has been shifted here so that we can compare the angles. This is alpha and this is beta. Alpha and beta is taken here. Now what is the, where is the image you are going to get here now? The image is formed at a distance that is 25 centimeters, okay, which is called as least distance of distinct vision. Okay, what do you mean by this least distance of distinct vision? A person can see clearly any object at 25 centimeters. If you want to read a book, you have to keep exactly at 25 centimeters, you will be comfortable to read. If you take very far, it's not comfortable. If you take very close, also you are just not comfortable. See, it's going to be a strain for you. So the best distance is said to be least distance of distinct vision. So we have to adjust the lens in such a way that you are getting an image at this place now. Okay. So this is about the construction. Now we can find out the magnification. What is the meaning of magnification here? Magnification is nothing but angle made by the image to that of angle made by the object. Angle made by the image to that of angle made by the object. If angles are very small, we can even apply tan beta by tan alpha, isn't it? Tan beta by tan alpha. Because when angles are very small, we can so angular magnification. This is said to be angular magnification. So M A. Angular magnification is angle made tan of angle made by the image to that of tan of angle made by the object. So therefore angular magnification you can take uh, tan beta. What is tan beta here? Tan beta means it is going to be IG and the distance is taken as B here. So tan alpha, what is tan alpha here? Tan alpha means it is going to be IJ. Actually IJ is nothing but OJ which has been shifted here. Okay. So and this is going to be D here. Then after that let us go ahead for uh, sign conventions. How can you take sign conventions here? So Im image is erected. So it is positive. Distance is left side. See this optic center is taken as origin. Whatever comes left side is negative. Whatever comes right side is positive. Whatever comes above is positive. Whatever comes below is going to be negative here. So distance is left side. So we can take it as minus D. And OJ is also positive because upwards it is positive x-axis, so it is positive and this is negative, is it? That's right. Okay, so we can cancel out these two d's here, minus d. Therefore, beginning magnification, m is equal to ig by ij, which can also be written as magnification is ig by oj also, oj, okay? Because ig is nothing but equal to oj, ig is nothing but the shifted object to from this place to this place. So I can consider ig is going to be equal to oj here, is it? So this is all about magnification. We got a magnification. 
then how can you simplify this magnification here? You can just see here. See, if you observe, uh, this is, let us take this as O dash. Optic center, if you take it as O dash here, you take this triangle now. Uh, triangle o, o dash O and J. This is J, no? Object J, J here. Okay. So, this is o, o dash O. Okay. This is O dash O J. Triangle O dash O J is similar to triangle O dash I J. Sorry. O dash I G. Okay. So, triangle O dash O J and triangle O dash I G are similar triangles. Why they are similar? Because this angle is common to them. And these two angles are going to be 90. And these two are said to be corresponding angles. Because when two parallel sides are there, corresponding angles are going to be same. So this is said to be A, A, A similarity. And angle of similar. Three angles are similar in the triangles and said to be similar triangles. They are said to be similar triangles. So these two similar triangles you are going to consider. So when you take a similar triangles here, the ratio of their sides will be same. Okay, what does it mean? Let me discuss here. The, ra the ratio of their sides are same means as they are at uh, similar triangles, the ratio of their sides means what? We can take here, we can take uh, IG, what is that? IG by OJ is equal to OO dash by IO dash. Okay, this IG by OJ and IO dash by OO dash, they are going to be same. The ratios are same. Once you prove the triangles are similar, we can say that the ratios of their sides are going to be same here. Therefore, IG by OJ is nothing but magnification. Instead of magnification, we can take uh, we can take O dash by O dash. And what is this O dash here? What is this O dash going to be? See, O dash is said to be object distance, which is taken as U. Understand? And uh, I dash is said to be image distance, which is taken as V. And later, this V is going to be minus V. Object distance is U. Image distance is V. This least distance or distance will also image distance. So when the image distance is exactly at least 25 centimeters, it is at the least distance of distribution where image distance is going to be a D here. So that's why it is going to be D here. So magnification, uh, OO dash is how much here? OO dash is second as B. And uh, oh, sorry, uh, what is this? OO dash, IG. OO dash, sorry. IG means larger side. OJ means smaller side. IO dash means a larger side you have to consider here. Divided by OO dash, smaller side. So IO dash is nothing but V and OO dash is nothing but U. Is it? And both are at left side, no? From origin, both are at left side, you can take that sign. And that is here, cancel here, no? So magnification new formula is nothing but V by U here. Magnification new formula is V by U. Now, there are two types of magnifications here. Magnification at near point, magnification at far point. How are we going to get that? See here, when the final image is at least distance of distribution, we say it is a magnification at near point. Which is said to be magnification at near point. Okay, so this is said to be magnification at near point. How are you going to find out the magnification at near point? For that, what will you do here? We can write here 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u, which is said to be Lynch formula. Understand? And what are you going to do now? Multiply numerator with v. So what are you going to get now? v by f is equal to v. v by v is 1. So v by u, I take it as take it left side. v by u is equal to 1 minus v by f. Understand? 1 minus v by f and then. But here, you know v is equal to minus v. v is going to be minus v here. So let, uh, if you substitute here, v is equal to minus v, I am going to get uh, 1 plus v by f. And this is said to be magnification at near. Near point magnification is nothing but the magnification where the final image is at the 25 centimeters. Now, we, should, we have to find out what is the far point formula. So what is the meaning of far point here? Let us see. You are taking a lens. It's going to the principal axis. Now, this is focal point. If you consider an object exactly at the focal point, then where are you going to see the image? So one is a par this is a dotted line. One is a parallel beam of light ray which passes like this. Another light ray passes like this. And they are parallel. This is an object here, object OJ. And final image, where are you going to get? Final image you are going to get at infinity. Okay? When the final image is at infinity, that is said to be far point magnification. That means here, uh, what are the changes you are going to observe here? The changes is this is going to be u is equal to f now. Why? Because the distance between the optic center and focal point is said to be f here, isn't it? F. U will become f here. And where what is going to become fi final image where it is very far, okay, very far distance that is taken as at infinity. Okay. So you know the lens formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So 1 by f is equal to 1 by infinity minus 1 by u. 1 by infinity is 0, so 1 by f is equal to here. What I am going to do? Multiply both sides, uh, v by u are getting uh, 1 by u are getting. Multiply both sides with v, so you are getting v by f is equal to minus v by u is equal to this minus if you send. So multiply, you get v by f minus v by u. Okay, so what I am going to do? v by u I will take and send this minus to this side, so v by f. But we know v is going to be minus d, 
V is going to be minus V. Therefore, magnification at far point, which is taken as V by U, uh, minus V if you substitute getting V by F. So what I am going to get now? So magnification far point formula is V by F and magnification near point formula is 1 plus V by F. Therefore, magnification far point formula is taken as V by F. And magnification near point formula is 1 plus V by F. Now let us see what is going to happen now. Find near point magnification, near point and far point magnification of a simple microscope having focal length 5 cm. This is one simple problem. Find out near point and far point magnification of a simple microscope having a focal length 5 cm. So how are you going to find out the near point and far point magnification? Solution is, you know for near point magnification is nothing but 1 plus d by f. So therefore near point magnification is 1 plus 25 and f is given as 5 cm in the problem. So we write 5 here, so it's going to be 6. There are no units for magnification because it's it's a ratio, so your answer is 6. Then what is the far point magnification? It's just d by f, which is nothing but 25 by 5, which is 5 here. Is it okay? This is said to be near point and far point magnification for a simple microscope. The diagrams are different and the values are also different. Formulas are different here. Is it clear? Now, we shall discuss about what is the meaning of compound microscope. First of all, what is the meaning of microscope? Why the name is given as microscope here? Whether it is a simple microscope or a compound microscope? Microscope. Scope of seeing microorganisms which are very small, which cannot be seen by your naked eye, that is said to be a microscope. See, microscope you are seeing a small bacteria, small funguses you can see with the help of microscopes. The very micro organisms which cannot be seen directly can be seen in a microscope. Okay, so microscope name itself says that scope of seeing microorganisms. That is said to be microscope. And simple microscope is over compound microscope. Compound means there are two lenses. So in this case, we have to consider two lenses. Okay. So this is the focal length of an objective, and this is said to be eye lens whose focal length is f. One thing you should remember that focal length of objective is much less than focal length of eye lens. Here. It's having very small focal length. It is having very large focal length. Why is it so? That depends upon the objects you are seeing. Okay, so this is kept uh, near the, this is said to be objective. Why is it said to be objective? And this eye lens. This is said to be objective because it is kept towards the object. Object side of the Eye lens because you, you are seeing from here. From that side you are seeing this is said to be eye lens. Focal length is very small for an objective. How can you decide that one? Because you are seeing very small objects. You just see eye lens means eyeball. Objective means microscopic objects, very small objects. Eyeball is bigger or small objects are microorganisms are bigger. Eyeball is bigger, so focal length of eye lens is bigger. Microorganisms are very small compared to the size of an eyeball. That's why this is having a very less focal length. Very low focal length. Objective is very less focal length. Understood? Right, so this set to be an objective. Now, see here. This is set to be focal length of an objective. And this is center of curvature of an objective. The same distance here, it is said to be focal length of an object. Okay, these are the two lenses. There is a gap. There is a distance between the two lenses which can be considered as this distance is taken as length L. Okay. Length L is the distance between the two lenses. L is going to be the distance between the two lenses. Now, where are you going to keep an object? Where are you placing an object here? Okay. You are placing an object between F and C. You are placing an object between F and C. Like this. Okay. Then what is going to happen? One parallel beam of light ray passes through this. It has to pass through the focal point. Another light ray passes through the optic center. They will meet somewhere here. Is it? They will meet somewhere here. So you are getting the image at this place. Okay. So object if you consider here, you are getting an image at this place. Is it okay? At this place you are seeing an image. <coughs> so getting an image at this place. Then what happens here? This image, see the object which are which is considered at the objective between focal length, principle of focus and uh, center of curvature, getting an image at this place. This image is going to be an object for the eye lens. The image formed by the object. The image formed because of uh, objective is going to be an object for the eye lens. Yeah. Okay. This object gives an image at this place. This image is going to be an object for an eye lens, and you are seeing the final image at this place, which can be seen by your eye. Understood? So this is taken as image I1, G1. Object OJ, image IG, final image at this place. You can see inverted image of a bacteria with the help of a compound microscope. Now, what else we are going to do here? Now from, from here to here, there is an object at this place. Here is an object. Again from here to here, just here. So here image is formed from here to here. Then what is the distance called as? 
this is called as focal length of the objective and this is considered as object distance for the ions which is taken as ue u not is the object distance here from here to here u not and this is v not and this is ue and this is taken as v which is taken as minus v which is said to be least distance of distribution so this is the total concept now how can you find out the magnification see magnification is nothing but image angle made by the image to the of angle made by the object which is nothing but tan beta by tan alpha so what is tan beta here tan beta means i1 g1 divided by opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but d there is it okay whole divided by tan alpha means oj and this distance is same no opposite side adjacent sides are same for image and object so what will you do v will take then here i1 g1 is inverted uh, minus d is left side uh, minus oj is upwards uh, plus uh, d is left side again minus so minus d gets cancelled so magnification new formula is i1 g1 by oj now i will split this magnification formulas into two formulas how i will split here now magnification can be taken as i1 g1 by ig into ig by oj see here if you cancel out ig and ig again you get the same formula can i split like this this is ig and oj is it not the magnification for an object is it clear these are the magnification formulas but if i convert this magnification formulas in terms of v and u you all know the general formula is ve by ue into v not by u not general formula for magnification is image distance by object distance image distance divided by object distance which are proved in the case of simple microscope is it understood now up to here is it clear now here i would like to find out the magnification at near point what i am going to do now here i got v not by u not so i am considering i lens i will write 1 by f not is equal to 1 by v so i am talking about i lens no i am talking about i lens means you write 1, 1 by f e is equal to 1 by v e minus 1 by u i am talking about is equal to v e by v e is 1 minus v e by so v e by u e i will take it as left side v e by u e okay minus v that we are getting now by u so i can consider v e by u e as 1 plus v by f e so here you can just see i will take minus v not by u not as it is this one here but v e by u e i am writing 1 plus v by so this is the formula i am getting for magnification at the near point magnification at the near point see object is there no if i shift an object at f like this if i shift an object at this place to the focal point then image also will go back so when i shift an object from this point to this exactly at the focal point the image also shifts and moves towards the so i can write now see when object is shifted to this place here okay when object is shifted to this what is going to happen if i shift it like this it will go back that means here uh, what is going to be this u u not will become approximately equal to focal length of this one because this distance is focal length of an object u not will become approximately so v not is going to be approximately equal to l this is two changes if you do we will get a new formula for near point which is magnification at near point is nothing but minus v not is nothing but l u not is nothing but f not and the remaining formula is 1 plus so there are how many formulas for near point two formulas this is formula number 1 formula number 2 so near point formulas are the formulas when the final image is at the least distance of distribution exactly 25 cm if the final image is exactly 25 cm like this this is said to be least distance of distribution next i want four point okay different diagram for four point but that much complex diagram is not required skeleton type diagram here to understand the concept what is that having here now see i am taking a principal axis this here one is objective and another is lens this is the focal length of a objective now so here and this is said to be center of curvature of an objective i am taking an object at this place you will get a final image here for this object oj you will get an image ig here isn't it all right but here previously at near point final image was forming at least distance of distant vision all right here but now final image should be at infinity somewhere here very far distance at infinity very far distance you should get the no image okay so to get very far distance what you have to do here so object is here image is here means this distance is taken as ue u not because this is an objective this is an island this is ue and this distance is ve but to get the final image at infinity this point should be focal length of the islands why if an object is exactly at the focal point final image goes to infinity that means what you have to do is, in the previous diagram what you have to do is you have to take this lens little bit back so that if you take this little bit back here this objective previously object was here is it 
If you take the lens back exactly, the image formed by the object will fall exactly at the focal length of the eye lens. See here. This is focal length of the eye lens now, at this place, here. Is it? If I take the lens backwards, does this point shift to here? Once this point shift to here, final image will suddenly go to infinity. Okay, so final image is at infinity now. That means V is equal to infinity. And you know the formula 1 by F E is equal to 1 by V E minus 1 by U E. V E is equal to infinity, just like simple microscope, same copy. So what I am going to get now, if you write V E by F E is equal to V, uh, v e is infinity means this is 0. Okay, so multiplying with the first what will do, V E is equal to infinity means 1 by F. So V E by U E, this minus if you shift here, it becomes V E by, if you substitute here minus E, V E by U E is equal to D by F E. And what is our general formula here? General formula is minus V naught by U naught V E by U E. Then general formula here. Okay. General formula in the sense uh, what I have here. Uh, this is the general formula. V E by U E V naught by U naught. Is it clear? This is it clear? I am taking a general formula here. General formula. And now magnification M is equal to minus V naught by U. And V E by U E means you can take D by F E. Same as a simple microscope. But extra thing is here you get V naught by U naught. There you will get only D by F E for far point. But here, far point formula, this is going to be the far point formula. Okay. So, near point formula, what is there? V naught 1 plus D by F E and minus L by F naught 1 plus D by F. But in the far point, uh, there won't be 1 here. Only D by F E, that's it, is it? Only D by F E. So, therefore, magnification at far point can be taken as minus L by F naught into D by F. So, these two formulas are going to be far point formulas in the case of compound microscope. Is it clear? Understood? Dear Neat and Jamin's aspirants, this is a problem of simple microscope in which object is kept between principle of focus and optic center. Then the final image is at the same side which is an virtual image and magnified image. He is asking us to find out the magnification at near point and far point, let us imagine. So magnification at near point is going to be 1 plus D by F. 1 plus 25 and F is given as 12. So this is 1 plus 2.08 which is nothing but 3.08 magnification if he is asking for far point the formula is just d by f that's it far point formula which is nothing but 25 by 12 which is 2.08 and there are no units for magnification here there are no units dear students see the wonderful thing done by the compound microscope a ant which appear to be a black dot is magnified 30 times because in the problem it is given 30 times larger it is then he is asking us to find out the magnification of an objective when the magnification of the total compound microscope is given to be 30 here he is asking us to find out the magnification of an objective here first of all let us find out what is the magnification of eyepiece as this is a case of least distance of distribution where the final image is at 25 centimeters then the formula for least distance is 1 plus d by f that means magnification of eye lens is 1 by 1 plus 25 by 5 which is nothing but 1 plus 5 which is 6 here so magnification of eyepiece is 6 that means this is going to be 6 here then what is the magnification of an object 2 which is 30 by 6 going to be 6 by 30 so your answer is 5 here magnification of object 2 is going to be 5 there are no units for magnification you know about that dear students this is a case of a telescope scope of seeing far objects tele means far so this is a telescope where we can see far objects like moon stars telescope that is galaxies and planets which are very far from us now in this case object is at infinity when an object is at infinity image will be at exactly focal length focal point principle of focus we can say for an objective this is an objective this is an eye lens which is closer to the eye this is an objective which is closer to the object therefore the light rays which are coming from infinity they will meet at exactly focal point principle of focus and here this image obtained from the objective is going to be an object for the case of eyepiece eye lens and here the image for this object is formed at this place which is at minus d that is equal to minus 25 centimeters least distance of distinct vision we can say least distance of distinct vision so therefore and you know magnification formula is tan beta by tan alpha angle made by the image to that of angle made by the object is said to be angular magnification in this case angle made by the image angle made by the object this is an object 
how much angle it is going to make alpha here this is alpha and that is beta instead of taking this alpha we consider this alpha because object is at infinity we can't take the dimensions which is at infinity so we can consider this alpha here so that we can consider the dimensions easily so magnification is equal to tan beta by tan alpha tan beta is h dash that is opposite side and adjacent side is nothing but u e and tan alpha is nothing but for this tan alpha is again h dash and the adjacent side is going to be f naught in this case so f naught h dash gets cancelled magnification will become how much f naught by u e this is said to be the net magnification of at least 4 but you all know that 1 by f e is equal to 1 by v e minus 1 by u e for the case of i lens this is the lens formula for i lens then what i am going to get now i want 1 by u e here 1 by u e take 1 by u e to left side and take this 1 by f e to right side that means minus 1 by f e plus 1 by v e okay so what i will do now i will take 1 by u e like that only i will common out this minus 1 by f e then i am getting 1 minus f e by v e okay i am getting this formula now so 1 minus f e by v e but you know v e is equal to minus d you can replace this 1 by u e is equal to minus 1 by f e 1 plus f e by d here so this is going to be 1 by u e already 1 by u e is present here that formula i am writing here that is magnification is equal to f naught divided by 1 by u e i will write this here okay so which is nothing but minus 1 by f e 1 plus f e by d this is said to be near point magnification formula for the case of a telescope next far point formula far point means object is at infinity image is also at infinity if you extend these lines you will get an image at infinity that means in here image distance for an eye lens is going to be infinity which can be taken as v here already we got this formula we can take this formula here that is magnification is going to be minus f naught by f e 1 plus f e by d here but if you want to convert this into far point where the final image is at infinity that is called as a far point so d is considered as infinity you have to replace d with infinity now that means this part becomes zero then what is left magnification at far point formula is going to be minus f naught by f e that's it so simple it is magnification at near point is this formula f naught by f e 1 plus f e by d and for far point it is going to be just minus f naught by f e this is a case of a telescope that is finished thank you dear students this is a case of a telescope in which there are two lenses it is given in the problem that magnification at far point is f naught by f e which is given as 5 here okay it is given as 5 and also the length of the telescope means the distance between the two lenses which is f naught plus f e that is also given as 36 centimeters with this data you have to find out what is f naught by f e it's very easy by seeing only we can tell that it is 30 by it is going to be 30 divided by 6 because uh, 6 5s are 30 here magnification is uh, 5 here and f naught plus f e means 30 plus 6 is 36 that's it or else you can solve also because f naught is equal to 5 times of f e that's it so in the place of f naught we have to write 5 f e plus again f e is equal to 36 so 6 f e is equal to 36 f e is equal to 36 by 6 which is nothing but 6 here okay so uh, we got here uh, f e as 6 means this is going to be 30 30 plus 6 is 36 so your answer is d option that's it